I did not expect that. <laughs> So this episode gave us more Mijin and ji together. It was definitely the most vulnerable moment we've seen ji be in, him talking about his mom. And it was definitely the first time Mijin even knew about his mom disappearing. Up until now, Mijin's parents have made me laugh so hard. I love these two. But for the first time, they've actually made me tear up. Mijin's mom tearing up because she was making her sister's favorite dish and it was also her sister's birthday. And then with the dad, you know, with the fraud thing he got going on, he blames himself. He he feels sorry for Mijin because of what he did affected her. And he's going more than beyond to help Mijin in any way he can. Then for Cholgyu, so we knew that he was on Sun's tail after looking at two different test results of the same Sun. Then he got one of his goons to stalk Mijin. And then I also thought for a short period of time, it evens out because her and Byungduk got the green light to raid his office and pretty much take everything that was in there. But uh, no, it ended on a cliffhanger because he got her. I can confidently say in the next episode, she's going to find out the truth. He's the main villain. He's the one that did all of these crimes that made all of his victims disappear, including her aunt Soon and ji mom. And yeah, that's pretty much the gist of the episode in my review. Is there anything I might have missed? Please leave in the comments below. Other than that, if you like this video, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. See ya.